Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, October 8th. It's 10.23 p.m. Eastern Time, and I was out of town for a day, so I'm late recording this video because I've just returned, and I did leave my machines running. So I'm going to bring over the time and sales and show the E-mini S&P trading at 10.23 p.m. Uh, at 2005 and 75. So today's uh, trade on the uh, ES 15 minute chart did 1,075 for the day. We had a, a loser and a winner here. And we can also get an idea of how yesterday's trade uh, resolved. I, I, when I recorded this, the E-mini S&P market was, was pulling back here, but this contract managed to close um, at at market on close uh, near the highs of the day. Okay, next up is the 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 5 tick, and that had a single short trade with uh, a close P&L of 1875 on two contracts. The 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 7 tick did 1,500 in profits today on two contracts. 30-year Treasury bond on the Superenco 6 tick did 937 on two contracts. Okay, next up is the crude oil on the BWT Uni Renko, and uh, this had a solid performance yesterday as well as today. So we'll look at some of the trades. It did 1960, and I'm pretty sure that we have a profit goal of 2,000. So again, that was hit for the second day in a row. And I'll switch to open, low, high, close bars. We get a better look at some of the trades here. So lots of winners. making for a solid performance in the crude oil again, hitting its $2,000 profit goal on two contracts. Okay, next we have the NASDAQ on the Uni Renko chart, and we have uh, $705 in profits here. We have the E-mini S&P on the Super Renko 8 tick uh, currently short and up 600 for the day. Okay, we had a couple of trades on the Euro futures contract, netting out a modest uh, $400 on two contracts. And that is all that I have to show you for today, being October 8th, Thursday. If you'd like to find out more about the BWT Precision Auto Trader, please visit our website or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.